I I love this film. I I grew up with this film. It's seminal to both shaping my taste in cinema, but more important to how action films would be made forever afterwards. Mm -hmm. George Miller came so far as a director between Mad Max and this second film. His vision for this movie, it's just laser focus. It's an incredibly lean movie also. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a simple plot, which I think is exactly what makes this movie also appealing. Whereas last week, I'm, when we discussed Mad Max, the first one, I kept reiterating how confused I was at times about the character's motivations. And in this film, it Not could a be problem. More, couldn't be more clear with what every character wants. And I, I think Miller wants Yeah, the again, cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I think Miller, <laughs> once again, is paying tribute to a classic genre here. Mad Max, the first one, I think is cleverly disguised as a revisionist Western Whereas Road Warrior, for me, is 100% an homage to classic samurai films. Mm -hmm. Max is the samurai, yes. the Ronin, lone warrior. He's got his own code of honor. It's a plot lifted right from those films. Mm -hmm. The only criticism of this film is that there aren't more cool cars and badass characters doing crazy shit. 